We all know by now that base building is one of the biggest and also probably one of the best features of No Man's Sky as it allows us to create some totally random and epic bases or sculptures. And what I like to do every couple of months is show off some of the amazing creations that other players have made recently, along with also giving you the portal coordinates of them so you can check them out for yourself. And this time is no different and you're in for one hell of a treat. I think some of these bases are the best I've seen, so without further ado, let's go ahead and check them out. As with all my videos where I post coordinates to these amazing bases, if you want to check them out for yourself, you will need to have quick access to a portal and have unlocked all 16 of the portal glyphs, so you can use the portal to its full potential. But don't worry if you haven't got access to a portal or haven't yet got all 16 of the portal glyphs because I have got you covered. I've created videos in the past going over absolutely everything you need to know about portals, including the quickest way of finding them. And I've also done a video showing you by far the fastest way to get all 16 portal glyphs, so why don't you check those out? I'll leave a link to both those videos in the description below for you. So two of these bases happen to be in the 10th Galaxy Eastern Time, which is also known as the Paradise Galaxy. If you haven't been there before, then don't worry because I've got you covered here as well. I have created a video before showing you the fastest way to get there. It won't take you long at all. But one of the quickest ways would be first to check out the featured bases, which you can see at the portal on the anomaly. Not only are these bases awesome, but sometimes they happen to be in Eastern Time and you can warp straight there. Now, I'll leave a link to the video in the description below for you as well, just in case none of them happen to be in Eastern Time at the time. First up, we have a base that goes by the name of NMS Arena, and it was built by Reddit user KeyActive8170. And this one is located in the Paradise Galaxy Eastern Time. I've showcased like a couple of stadium type bases in my videos before, including a recreation of a Rocket League Arena and a recreation of a football stadium, but I think this one is probably the most impressive. You can actually walk over the top of this arena and look on down through the glass floors. There are also some holograms of some pretty cool flying creatures. Side note, I think these holograms are awesome. Anyway, once you step on inside, you instantly see just how good this arena looks. I assume it's a recreation of a basketball arena and around the top of the stands, there are a couple of bar areas as standard, along with some VIP seating. More holograms of staff and heading on down to the actual playing surface, there are lights used as the pitch markings. There are basketball nets, commentary seating area and the expensive seating down at the front. All in all, a very, very good recreation of a basketball arena. And if you want to come and visit the NMS arena, the portal coordinates you want are face, sunset, galaxy, face, sunset, bird, sunset, galaxy, dragonfly, face, balloon, and finally an atlas. And don't forget, you want to be in Eastern Time to come and visit this arena. The second base in this video is also in the Paradise Galaxy Eastern Time, and it goes by the name of Archive City 2.0. This was created by Mr. Huff09, and the planet Archive City on is not only an Earth-like paradise planet, but it's also got a boatload of other player bases on it as well, which you should definitely come and visit. So Archive City is really well-created and compact city outpost created over a couple of levels. You can come across a wide variety of features here, including biodomes, stalls, exocraft hangars, weapon terminals, and it is of course created on an existing outpost. So you will also come across NPC selling technology and other things. There's also a lot of ships flying around, so you may be able to find some parts for the new ship building feature that got added in the Orbital update. Now, it certainly helps it is being built around the existing outpost, but it is such a good extension of it, and it's definitely well-built base, which clearly took a damn long time. So if you want to come and visit Archive City 2.0, the portal coordinates you will need uh, Diplo, Sunset, Eclipse, Sunset, Sunset, Face, Diplo, Tent, Rocket, Voxel, Galaxy, and finally another Rocket. And don't forget, you want to be in Eastern Town for this. We're heading on back to Euclid now for this next base. In fact, we'll be in Euclid for all of the remaining bases. And next up is a base called Tron Tower, and this was created by Reddit user Tron Bandit. Very apt naming on both parts, I must say. And first of all, this is probably the largest tower type base I've ever come across in No Man's Sky. It is absolutely massive. And you can climb all the way from the bottom to the top using the stairs, so each of these levels could be filled out with stuff as well. But for those of you who, like me, are lazy, 
There is, of course, short range teleporters taking us from top to bottom and vice versa much quicker. The top level of Tron Tower effectively acts as a penthouse with some truly stunning views of this planet, which by the way is an amazing planet to build on. There are viewing areas, bar areas, sleeping quarters, an office area, and absolutely everything else you'd expect to see in a penthouse. I don't know about you, but I'd be happy to use this one as a home. And then going down to the bottom floor, it effectively acts as a reception area. And also, as a side note, there is a freaking cool sphere base really close by, but I didn't record it sadly, but it's worth checking it out as well. Now, if you want to come and visit Tron Tower and the sphere base, the portal coordinates you'll need are Balloon, Sunset, Eclipse, Voxel, Sunset, Bug, Sunset, Diplo, Balloon, Galaxy, Bird, and finally Voxel. It's not a base showcase video without an orbital base, right? Of course not. So here we have a low orbital base called Helios Platform Station, and it was created by Reddit user Kells503. This base is seriously impressive. I mean, just look at it. There is a giant central room and a tower, and then five other rooms off it, and finally a landing pad off the final sixth side. Each of these five rooms and the central room all vary and pretty darn different from one another. You've got control rooms, rooms with what appears to be an experiment room with a bed in it, which seems quite ominous or innocent, I'll let you decide. Um, there is another room which you can walk through a tunnel with a giant hexagonal door, which I think looks damn cool. I've come across these a few times. When visiting places like this, especially ones as impressive as this, it just makes me realise how little imagination I have when it comes to base building. I really need to up my game and spend more time doing it. But if you want to come and visit the incredibly impressive low orbital base Helios Platform Station, the portal coordinates you want are Diplo, Sunset, Tent, Atlas, Sunset, Sunset, Voxel, Eclipse, Eclipse, Tent, Face, and finally another Atlas. These next two bases happen to be on the same super hot volcano planet. In fact, there are a boatload of bases on this planet, and a lot of them are Lord of the Rings themed, and you should definitely come and check these out. So the first one here is Helm's Deep, and it was created by Randy D1967. And if you don't know what Helm's Deep is, then go and watch Lord of the Rings, damn it. Anyway, the base itself looks damn good. It's not quite located in the exact same place as the film, but it's close enough for me. It has the cool curved path up to the entrance of it and behind the walls. There are a variety of areas, including a giant throne room with a bar area. You know, exactly like the film. Obviously. Anyway, on part of the wall, there are cannons being manned by No Man's Sky travellers ready to launch cannons and god knows what else at those damned Urukai. Behind the walls, there is also a variety of things, including horse, well, diplo-drawn carriages, all sorts of other stuff. Now, the portal coordinates to this base are the same as the final base, so I'll give you them after I've showcased that because that's probably my favourite base of this entire video. And this final base was actually sent to me, so heads up folks, if you send me your base locations, they could feature in my videos just like this one. Anyway, this awesome base built directly on top of a volcano goes by the name of If Sauron Had a Chimera Architect, and it was built by J underscore S Lax. I assume the Chimera in the name is the same as the Chimera from the Resistance games. Remember those games? Man, they were good back in the day. So what this base actually is, is effectively an alternate creation of Barad-dor from the Lord of the Rings, and it is aptly placed on a volcano rather than next to it. So we're talking Mordor here, people. This base is honestly stupidly tall. I tried to get a photo of it, but I just couldn't actually fit the entire thing in. The tower is incredibly well built, and you can work your way up and down it, and of course, there is a recreation of Sauron's eye at the top. Even though this base claims it was created by a Chimera Architect, I think J underscore S L A X X has perfectly captured the decor you'd expect from Sauron and the atmosphere is topped off by the volcano erupting at various intervals as you're exploring. They've truly captured the feel of Mordor and Barad-dur here. So if you want to come and visit both this Barad-dur recreation and the Helm Deep recreation and many many other bases including a lot of Lord of the Rings themed bases then the portal coordinates you are going to need are Bird, Sunset, Rocket, Sunset, Bug, Tree, 
balloon, eclipse, dragonfly, tent, fish, and finally a face. As always with these videos, I like to give a shout out to the communities over on Reddit at our NMS Coordinate Exchange and our NMS Cliff Exchange, because without you guys, coming across these amazing creations would be near impossible. And same goes for those of you who have commented coordinates on my other base videos or have sent me them separately, please keep it up because you'll probably get showcased in one of my future videos. The more bases I can share, the better. And there you have it folks, there are some of the most amazing bases I've come across recently. Which one of these was your favourite? And don't forget, if you've created some truly epic bases and would like them featured on a new episode of Amazing Bases, why don't you leave a comment below with the coordinates to them and the galaxy that they are in. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you're still here, it would be totally awesome if you could support my channel by hitting those like and subscribe buttons. You can now become a channel member as well, and as always, thank you for watching this video, and I will catch you in the next one.